Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video we're going to take a look at exponential equations, and more specifically, can we be given a graph, and can we change that graph into the actual equation? So let's dive right into this video, look at an example of an exponential function, and see if we can determine its equation. So I want to again remind you that we have our generic form for our exponential equation, and that is y equals a times b to the x. Remember that a represents the y-intercept. Sometimes we call that the zero term. Sometimes we refer to that as the starting point. And b is our multiplier, or sometimes we say our growth factor. Now, when trying to write out an exponential equation, it's very important that we determine what the a term is and what the b term is. What's your y-intercept? What's your multiplier? Well, I have a graph right here that we can see. It's an exponential curve. I know it's an exponential curve because it's not a straight line. It is curving up. We see it down here at negative five, that red line as it moves from left to right, it is, starts to increase and it increases exponentially. Now our hope is to find an equation that matches this exponential graph and really any exponential graph. So the first thing you wanna determine is what is the y-intercept? Where is this graph crossing our y-axis? And just in case if you forgot, I'll go ahead and highlight that that vertical line going straight down, that is our y-axis. We're interested in where our red graph crosses it. Well, as I follow along, I see that this point right here at zero four, that is my y-intercept. That is where this exponential function starts, and it starts at four. So now when I'm writing my exponential equation out, I know that the a term is going to be a four. Now I just have to figure out what my multiplier is. And we see that we start at four, and then as I move up, the next term on this exponential graph is at one comma 12. So we've jumped from four all the way up to 12, and we need to figure out what our multiplier is. Now, some of you might be able to do that in your head and might know what four times something gives you 12, but maybe you need a little help trying to figure that out, or maybe your example isn't quite as clear cut. This is a quick reminder that to, if you ever wanna find your multiplier, all you need to do is when you're looking at a graph is to pick a point Here's my point at 112. I'm gonna use the y value. The y value there is 12, and I need to divide it by the term before it. Since I'm using my first term, I need to then use my zero term, which is at four. So I'm going to take 12 and divide it by four. 12 divided by four, that equals three. That right there is our multiplier. It's our multiplier because four times three gives you 12. So the last step is to put that into that equation for our B term, put our X as our exponent, and that right there is the exponential equation that matches this exponential graph. And that's how you do this. When given a graph, determine your zero term or your y-intercept and determine your multiplier. It's that math magician and I'll see you on the next video.